What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Tuesday, and welcome to In the Metal. I am Christian from DL Harris, and today we're going to be diving into three very interesting watches from Rolex, Tudor, and Omega. Let's do it. Let's start with this, probably something you haven't seen before. A Tudor Oyster Prince reference 7809. It dates to 1951, and not only is its dial absolutely untouched and original, it's a really rare configuration as well. It features 12 Arabic numerals, as opposed to the more classic, traditional, and frankly predictable Rolex stick hour indices and these beautiful, elongated, luminous sword hands. It's absolutely fresh from service and just waiting to be worn and appreciated as often as possible. And now something I know you'll all love. A vintage Rolex reference 1601. And while it's a date just, it's not just any date just. It features a beautiful linen dial. For those of you who haven't actually had the opportunity to hold the linen dial before, it's just a wonderful, very hard to describe experience. Once you actually get it in your hand and you're able to twist and turn the case, you finally see just how insane it is. I mean, the way that each little linen ridge reacts with the light is enough to blow you away. While we're on the topic of rare birds, I bet you've never seen an Omega reference 2472. This one dates to 1947, and as a fan of Patina, I am absolutely in love with it. Its Arabic dial has aged beautifully to a saturated kind of caramel color, and the way that it complements the blue second hands is just, I don't know, otherworldly. But what's really interesting to me about this watch, and that's looking beyond the rare 28SC manually wound Omega movement, is the proportion of the case. I mean, how this technically small 33mm steel Omega wears on the wrist. A product of those long faceted lugs which give the watch an overall lug to lug measurement of 42mm, it has amazing presence. I mean, the watch could very easily be mistaken for something two or three or maybe even more millimeters larger. Needless to say, this is one that I've been wearing a lot lately. So that's it, geeks. A little sneak peek into three of this week's six wonderful new additions to the watch shop at theoandharris.com. Head on over and check them out.